So I didn't film doing it, but since I had some leftover uh, wrap, I went ahead and covered this pearl firecracker popcorn snare. And I just decided that since I have this tom arm clamp just lying around, that I would use that as a clamp on the side of this so that I could just mount this snare to a an arm mount. So I happen to have this little piece, which you technically are supposed to put inside the drum, but can also be used as a template. So that's what we're going to do. Um, installation of these types of little clamps is very straightforward. It's just got two screws with lock washers and washers that you tighten down. You want to get them pretty tight so they don't slip. And then, uh, you know, you just got your tom arm. In this case, a PDP arm would fit this best, but it's got enough swing to fit like a Ludwig arm or something like that. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be able to mount this guy anywhere. It's pretty sweet. Now, if you're using this as a floor tom leg, it's good to use the uh, plate that comes with it. You stick it on the inside, it gives a little more rigidity. But you don't really need it because this doesn't weigh all that much. And uh, the plate, you'd have to bend it to fit this radius. It just doesn't work very well. And these washers are pretty good size, so it should be fine. All right, we got our new head on. Got our little mount done. This guy's ready to go. Got a lot of ring to it. Got a couple magnets here on the head that uh, help control the ring a little bit, but um, definitely unique and for the trashy kit I'm going for. And it looks cool. And this is an older, I don't know what year, but an older Thomas Swingstar, which is cool. It adds Tama to the kit. We got Pearl, Yamaha, and I think, uh, was it sound percussion, something like that already? Anyway, uh, this popped up today on Marketplace for 20 bucks. Now, I was looking at the Thomas Wingstar kits that were of this time frame, and it looked to be uh, 22 by 16, but I feel like this is 22 by 18. So yeah, so basically from where the edge of the drum would be to over here, it's going to be 18 inches. So this is a 22 by 18, which is unexpected. Okay, so yeah, this is 22 by 18, and interestingly enough, the wrap I have seems to be 18 inches wide. So that's kind of cool. That should be able to come right up to the edge. We may have to trim it just a bit. But it's got the original <laughs> factory head on it, and uh, you can tell it's so old it's been worn down. Let's see if we can get this off and see if there's a hole under there. It's the uh, Tama AccuTune hoops, what these are. But this drum has got mold in it, so I'm not going to open it up in here. Um, I'm actually going to take this apart tomorrow on the porch. So, and that figures. This is an old, worn out head, right? So it's been beat up. So let's cover that back up. <laughs> you can see the moisture up in here. That's why it was only 20 bucks. But uh, it seems to have the parts. It's got the crappy old school legs and everything. Like I said, I really dig these hoops. So yeah, um, I have had a mold damaged entire drum set before. It was a Pearl export back in the day. And that thing was uh, during Hurricane Ivan, the guy said it was floating in his garage. He was throwing it away. So I was like, no, let me have it. I was super poor at the time. Um, and so I, I spent like, a week or so sanding that thing out until all the mold was just completely dead and gone I'm going to probably spray some mold killer because I have some I'm gonna spray some in here first maybe I'll do that tonight I'll spray the mold stuff in here let it kill this junk and then tomorrow we'll uh, do some cleaning and sanding see if we can get that out of here okay guys so when you're dealing with mold uh, it's a good idea to wear a mask or respirator is even better and you know I'm outside to try to there's anything sporing off in there or whatever I want it to blow away from me and I don't want to be in the room or have this in my house so still for 20 bucks I'm not mad at a kind of moldy drum but let's see what we have in here 
And I, I've uh, unscrewed the rim and I can already smell it. I'm gonna move this slow so as to not spread it around. Woo, that is uh, pretty bad. Pretty freaking bad. Let me see if I can show you here. This is just growth. You know? That is crazy. So, yeah, a lot of it there too. So I'm going to pull this bottom head and uh, start spraying. Man, I can smell this stuff. So let me do that so that uh, I don't have to breathe much of this in, okay? I'm going to do that now. So if I sound muffled, it's because I have a mask on. But I've gone ahead and taken off both heads so that once I'm done spraying it, I can turn it up sideways and let the air flow through. So what I'm spraying with is a super heavy bleach compound. I'm gonna kill everything alive in this bass drum. And I'm gonna saturate everything. This is way worse than I thought, but uh, it always is, right? <laughs> when you're killing mold you can always see it releasing so see that how it's just releasing that means it's dying I know this because I've lived in Florida my whole life mold is an issue it's very easy during a hurricane or storm or something through roof leaks to end up with mold in your house. Nobody likes that. So I'm gonna do this. And uh, once this is all dried out and stuff, we'll go to the next step. We may save that front head. There wasn't much mold on it. I can clean that off. But the uh, batter head, too gross. I'm getting rid of that, obviously. And it had a hold of it. All right, I'll be back. the wildlife on my porch so it's only been a couple minutes but all that furry stuff is dead most likely this will stay stained uh, it'll get a little lighter when I sand it but it'll stay pretty stained like that because even though the molds dead you know little particles and stuff are gonna be stuck in the wood grain not much we can do about that so I'm gonna set this up to dry I'm gonna hang it with this side at the bottom so the most of the bleach will stay down there and uh, probably tomorrow we'll be able to take it apart and start trying to sand this out. So depending on how hard I work tomorrow at my day job, I may do that tomorrow night. Decided to scrub a little bit, try to hedge my back here. All right, my friends, it's been a few days. We have our drum back in the house. We have pulled all the hardware off, which is in really, really good shape. No rust on most of it, very clean. The only one that's even remotely rusty is the inside uh, vent cover panel, the thing for the uh, adapter to hold the tom mount. We got the mold killed, looks pretty good. There's gonna be some staining, obviously. And just like when you put water on uh, bare wood, the grain raises that's what happened when we put all our bleach in here so we're just gonna sand that down that'll take care of a little bit more of these mold stains but not a lot uh, we're not really gonna be able to get rid of all of them if we were that picky about it we could go ahead and paint the inside of the drum that's something we could do but it came out really nice considering how bad that mold was so now this is just 120 grit I'm gonna do a lot of that. It's already smoothing it way out. It's super rough here, it's not rough here. And that's all we're doing, just trying to make it a little bit smoother. Then I'll vacuum this out and then we'll clean it all again. Much better, nice and smooth. No debris floating around in there. And uh now we're gonna clean the outside of it. So this thing is actually a nice kind of, kind of grayish, greenish color. 
I don't know if you'd call it pewter or what. So it's almost a shame to cover it up, but uh, you know, it's just a wrap and the vinyl we're putting on it, should we ever want to take it off, we can do that. We're not uh, doing anything that's going to destroy this. We're just going to put some sticky vinyl on it and then one day if we want, we can peel it off. This is just glass cleaner and a microfiber cloth. That's all I'm using here. We may put the vinyl on on the floor and uh, much like you do when you do other fun activities, we may put a towel down. All right, my friends, we are just about ready for vinyl, and we're going to have to do this drum a little bit differently than we did the others. And uh, we'll see why here in just a second. Okay, so I did some preliminary fitment testing here, and just as suspected, it's too short to go all the way around. But I knew that when I ordered it. The next longer, uh, oops, the next longest size up for the vinyl was almost fifty dollars like fifty dollars more than uh the five foot length so i knew it wouldn't go all the way around but i knew it'd be pretty close i happen to have this patch from another drum so this is the bottom of the drum i'm going to do this i'm going to go over the lugs where the lug holes are put this here and then i'm going to start the rest of it right where the lugs are as well so hopefully you won't be able to notice that's going to be the plan anyway Again, this is the bottom of the drum. This is going to be right on the floor. I don't think anybody's going to notice. To do that, you just ride up against the existing drum skin. A little tape on one side so I can line it up. Make sure it's all aligned. That should be all right. It sticks pretty decently, but you really don't want to keep peeling it. The thing is here, that first alignment is what is of critical importance. So worked out the way to do this is to go maybe just a half inch pull down at a time, go from the middle, smooth out to the edges. Use your thumb, create a little bit of friction you got a little bit more heat to help activate that glue. They say you can use a heat gun on this stuff because people use it for their cars. And I tried that, but it bubbled immediately unevenly like crazy. So maybe it's different when you're working on metal. I don't know. I think we hit our other, we hit our patch. So that's good. Let's just see if I can flatten that line down better. Righteous, we ended right under the lug, which is what we wanted. So both sides, both sides are right under the lug. Now I gotta do some smoothing out and I have to trim this edge off. Then we'll start getting ready for our hardware. So just like the other drums, just gonna poke holes in all the areas that the hardware needs to go through and I'll come back in with my reamer and ream all these holes to the right size. It's all about experimenting, having a good time and you know what, it's our project, if it doesn't look perfect no big deal, right? But let's go for, let's go for as perfect as we can get. If you compare this to how it was at the beginning of the video Man, you can just tell how much cleaner this kick drum is than it was. I'm super happy about it. I've decided I am going to put the little tom neck back on there to hold the toms. For now at least. So we'll be doing that. But the hardware on these is as simple as can be. You just have your lug. You put the lug in the holes. Which the only thing I wish is that they had the... Uh, rubber washers between the lugs and the shell that really helps with this vinyl stuff and I was lucky the screws weren't rusted out I was kind of expecting them to be with how much uh, water or most moisture there must have been in this drum I go around put all the hardware back on and uh, then we'll be ready for heads okay so I cleaned all the mold off the inside of the drum head this is the front drum head obviously so I got our AccuTune all cleaned up backwards there we go which these are gasp plastic 
if you didn't know, the AccuTune hoops are plastic. They have a little metal insert inside, keep them from breaking. But they're a tough plastic and they last for years. I gotta find out what Coconut did with my drum key. Cause anytime I set that thing down, he thinks it's his toy and he plays with it. All right, we're on to the batter side of the drum and unfortunately the only head I have is this Evans 56 which these are really good heads just not the sound I want for this kit so I have a super kick 2 on the way but because I am who I am I want to get this thing all put together tonight make sure everything is good and I'll just swap the head out when I get it retrieved my drum key from coconut we're gonna be ready to go here pretty soon other than the snare which I've actually changed my mind about I have another idea for a different snare so other than a good little snare for this guy. We are good to go. Drum kit is wrapped. And we're not going to wrap the snare. We're going to do something else with it. Alright, let me get this done and we'll take a look at the whole thing. Here's our kick drum, all wrapped. You can see the color change. Pretty cool. A little carbon fiber action going. I am pretty stoked on it. Alright. Kind of a family uh, photo here. We got the 18 inch Yamaha floor tom. We got our 22 by 18 inch Tama kick. And we have our 13 by 12, I believe, uh, high tom. So, like I said, we still need a snare. We do have the little firecracker popcorn snare we made. So, that's more of a side option. I don't really consider that the main snare of the kit. But yeah. Pretty cool guys, it's coming together. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.